Overlooked from Ella and Juliet, Pedro and Ines, Ines de Castro, known as the posthumous or skeleton queen, is an iconic Portuguese tragic love story of her and King Pedro I. It fascinates and inspires the artist writers since 15th century from Carl Brulov to Paula Rego. Pedro was a 14th century Portuguese king, while Ines de Castro was his wife's lady-in-waiting. Like many marriages at the time, it was set up for an alliance with another kingdom. But Pedro and Ines actually fell madly in love for what she got exiled. After becoming a widower, Pedro ran away to live with Ines. They had four children, which infuriated his father to the point of ordering her death. Pedro's soul harrowing made him kick off a civil war against his father, track two assassins, and reap the hearts. After taking the crown, he ordered the body of Ines to be moved to the royal monastery, declaring her as a queen post mortem. In fact, the tombs are opposite each other to allow Pedro and Ines to look at one another in the afterlife. What do you think of this story?